All right, we are, if you watch the Instagram and you saw me do my live Munchak review, you know I'm struggling right now. And that's because I had probably the worst snack I've had out of that box. Not Munchak's fault, but the snack was bad, okay? I'm not here to slander uh, products and things, but Munchak's fine product. What I had tonight, baby cookies from Japan, no, avoid all costs. So, um, as promised, Ellen is here, and the dogs, to review. Uh, what Miss Dale got was a Brit box, which is a bunch of British chocolates. Um, and, right, because you saw me do my top 20 of, I guess, American candy bars. Um, so we are doing the, right, British version. I mean, these not like these are all the candy bars in Britain, but um, I will rank them on that scale. Remember, so it's a... Um, Right, I have my top five candy bars. I don't rank them out of that. And then I have the 20, right? So a candy bar that gets a, right? If I say it's a top five candy bar, it's one of the best candy bars. That means it is up there with the Snicker. Maybe we'll get the boards down here. It's up there with Snickers. Peanut Butter Squared or Reese Outrageous, Reese Fast Break, Milky Way Midnight, Hershey's Gold. So, um, but like, right, anything that's like 20 plus, well, we'll get to it. You'll get used to it. Ellen is just going to... Give her two cents. So, uh, Miss Dale told us to try this one first because it will make the rest of the box kind of taste pepperminty or something like that. So, it is an Aereo peppermint. Aereos, I've had Aereos before. I forget when, but they're like very light and fluffy and they're kind of different than what we have here. Um, so, I've definitely had an Aereo bar, so I'm excited here. Definitely excited um, because it is going to get that taste in my mouth. Um, so, as I said, Miss Dale also said we only can do this a couple days because they're like higher in like chocolate or sugar volume than like natural cocoa. So they're like very rich and sweet. So we have to take it easy. We can't eat the entire British box in one city. We can do that. We can so do we're, that. remember we're not, I'm not a monster. Ellen's not a monster. We have self-control. We're going to. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, so we are having self-control. So we'll, ooh, very pretty. Ooh. Very pretty, very pretty for the people. Watching at home. Um, do you so want to take a bite? Like, do you want the full bite or you no. want a break? Oh, yeah, break. Wow. <gasps> Show the camera that. Show the camera. I'm directed. It is like mint chocolate chip ice cream inside the candy bar. Boom! Mint chocolate chip ice cream is good ice cream if I was ranking ice creams. Sorry, Ellen, you want the smaller piece? I want um, to savor it. She wants to savor it. Um, so, here it goes. And it's the smelling. first Brit Box candy review. Smells so good. Okay. Exactly what I need after crappy Japanese baby cookies. Um, mm. oh. Miss Dale wasn't getting around. It's creamier, much creamier than like our normal chocolate bars are. Eatability is high for me. I think it's very eatable, Ellen. Mm, very. Eat really did you eat the whole? It. Oh, you eat one of them. Very Super good. eatable, like melts in your mouth. Wow, and I am a fan. Oh, these are really good. I'll tell you right now, I tried the mint Kit Kat, right? We watched, it was like how the whole thing started. Um, whole Schaefer review started with the mint Kit Kats. Um, this is better than the Kit Kat. Mm. So mint Kit Kat is the top 15 candy bar. This is like mint chocolate chip ice cream in a candy bar. Yeah. 100%. If you like mint chocolate chip ice cream, you will like this. And that like, like a thin mint was like how the mint Kit Kat was, right? And the Thin Mint is different. Like, mint chocolate chip ice cream is better than a Thin Mint. If you don't understand that, then you need to get your taste buds checked out with a taste bud doctor because they're different. And mint and chocolate I chip. And I like the fact that there's these little bubbles in the bar. It's like, makes it lighter. It is very. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's like very light. It's, um, yeah, this is a mm -hmm. easy to eat. It's like creamy and, right, like you said, it's not very, um, mm. um, like thick, like it's not like when you bite in and have like like, uh, like a Milky Way uh, fudges or, I would or something like that. Put this top ten. Top ten. Oh, so good. Top ten. There's some really good candy bars in the top ten. The chocolate's so different; it's hard. It's so good. It is really good. I'm right on that verge. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm ready to call it top ten. It's right there, eleven ten. I will give it. 
Let me see, one more. This is, this is testing all of my candy knowledge. It's delicious. If you see one, buy one. Yeah, I mean, just order a brick box. Yeah. They were awesome and commented. Thank you for commenting on our um, first thing. Um, if you don't, since you're probably like, who is this guy? I'm just a random school teacher here in America that decided to review candy and other food. And now, since we're quarantined, it's turned into quite the ordeal. Um, all right. I will give it a 10. I'm leaning like 10-2, 10-3. I just don't know if it's breaking that top 10. I'm trying to think if it's better. I just am a sucker for chocolate peanut butter. I like the mintiness. It's clear. It's like right. Could be a 10. Could be 11. So that's it. Um, Miss Dale, thank you again. I can't thank you enough for this. These are, this is a, if this is how they're all so going to be, good. this is going to be tough. This is going to be a really tough review. I feel like my head's always cut off. It's going to be a very tough review every single night that we do these. I definitely understand what you mean by having to take it slow because like these are creamier and thicker. Definitely like some more sugar in them. Um, but we enjoy this There's one. definitely not more sugar in these than some of those things you were eating. Okay, I don't know about sugar. What I, I'm, things like that, not the best, right? I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and I talk myself into problems sometimes. Whatever it is, it's cr overall just seems to have more like oomph to it than like, a regular old Snickers bar. So, the Aereo Delightful Peppermint. It was delightful. You're not kidding around. Thank you, Miss Dale. Thank you, BritBox. Um, thank you, Aereo Delightful Peppermint for cleansing what was a pretty terrible snack that they just had. So, we will see you. I'll do it tomorrow now. I'll do a munch out of review. Um, hopefully, anything can, get, anything can go better than, than tonight. Um, we'll take a couple days and we'll do another one of these. All right? Uh, comment if you like these, because it kind of makes me feel good that if you guys are hating this, then maybe I just stop reviewing them. But if you like it, comment. Tell me that you enjoy these, that they uh, bring some joy to your life in times of uh, some difficult times. I All right. See you, everybody. Bye.